Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video now don't forget to like share and subscribe feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you now um, I wanted to touch on a different topic today there was a video released yesterday which has caused a bit of controversy and that was Tyson Fury rapping along to uh, one of my favorite actually you know what he's my favorite rapper of all time Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls uh, Tyson Fury was on video rapping along to one of his classics that was Juicy and um, he was caught saying the n-word on camera and that has, as you can imagine, in today's cancel culture society, has gone down, um, hasn't gone down very well. And also his kids were in the video as well. They were singing along to the lyrics and they were saying the N-word. And uh, I just wanted to get you guys thoughts and opinions on it before I delve into the wider topic of this video. And that is to do with Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua in today's current climate. I mean, uh, the reason why I want to speak about this is because I've kind of noticed over the last, um, I don't know, really over the last wouldn't say a few months, I'd say over the last year or so, uh, there's been a shift in popularity over here in the UK with regards to um, Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua at one point was the big star. I mean, he was levels, levels ahead of Tyson Fury in terms of popularity. And he was selling out, obviously selling out stadiums and, uh, you know, he had the world at his feet. And then he lost to Ruiz. And then um, his popularity dipped a little bit. Even when he defeated Ruiz in the rematch, his popularity still dipped. It wasn't the same as it has been before. It might never reach the same heights as it did. And then obviously with Tyson Fury's resurgence in the heavyweight division, I mean, he's defeated uh, Deontay Wilder. Looked very impressive in doing it. He's also had a tremendous comeback story uh, coming back from the brink of you know suicide to become a world champion again i mean it's a remarkable story but i wanted to ask you guys the question and i'm not i'm not afraid to ask these sort of questions on my uh boxing page now i know a lot of people be like oh stick to boxing like this is only boxing we only care about that but this has got to do with boxing as well and i want to hear your thoughts on it so uh my topic of this video is to, to do with like the popularity and will um when tyson fury and Anthony joshua eventually face off with each other uh, will there be a divide in the UK, which is basically what I'm trying to say. Will there be like a, a divide, a cultural divide, so to speak? Because I've kind of noticed it a little bit in, and maybe I'm just referring to the hardcore fans. Maybe I'm not, um, maybe this ain't in relation to the mainstream media or mainstream public. But I mean, you see, for example, with um, Anthony Joshua going to the BLM protests, um, he said a comment at the BLM protests. I mean, he read a speech, I think of a letter, which didn't go down well with, the majority of um, majority well the majority of white people I'd say over here in the UK didn't really take well to it whereas you had the black community uh, defending what AJ was saying and I think that, that was to do with shopping at uh, black businesses and uh, black owned shops and um, that didn't go down well with some people there and also um, you know you've got Tyson Fury on online he did he has kind of distanced himself from the BLM matters which is absolutely fine I mean you don't have to you're not obligated to say what you want to say on it but I think um just from my experience and just from speaking to a few others, I think that some of the black community, because I can only speak for my community, um, have felt a bit alienated with um, some of Tyson Fury's comments recently, not just with the whole um, N-word and what's been going on right now. I think it's to do with like his kind of disregard for the BLM protests. I mean, his wife put up a post, I think, saying all lives matter, which is a, you know, it's kind of like a counteract to um, the whole Black Lives Matter thing. And then, um, I mean, Tyson Fury then put the post up about Winston Churchill. And like, I mean, that's not necessarily to do with like a black and white, but um, it's kind of, you know, strengthened a certain section of the community rather than um, everybody. And I feel like, I, just, I don't know. I mean, to me, I just feel like there's a bit of a cultural divide. Maybe it's just amongst the hardcore fans or maybe it is pushing over into the mainstream. That's why I'm kind of bringing it to my video and ask you guys your opinion on what you think. Do you think that this could potentially go into a cultural differences sort of thing like a black versus white or like you know Tyson Fury's a gypsy I mean that, like I said in my video with my dad that I did there's a lot of tribalism in boxing but and that's okay but I think the issue is is not to have it spill over into um anything to do with hate you know um that's not, not what we want here in the sport but for me I'm just bringing it here because I've seen it a little bit over time like in the comments for example yesterday uh after Tyson Fury said what he said singing along to the lyrics 
there were some people in there saying like, look, I hope AJ batters him now. You know, AJ's got to do this for the culture, blah, blah, blah. And then you see like in other posts, like comments under Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua, what he said to, um, you know, at that Black Lives Matter speech, you've got people saying, oh, I hope Tyson Fury smashes him now, this and that. And, you know, so I, I want to bring it to you guys. Do you think that there is some sort of cultural difference? Do you think that it is a factor? It is something that we should speak about? Or do you think that maybe it's being blown out of proportion? So... Uh, me personally, I do think there is a little bit. I mean, I do. I have seen it, and I have seen like the po popularity for Anthony Joshua kind of dim a little bit, and Tyson Fury's popularity rise. And when you have these two big characters going up against each other for all the marbles, undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, taking play well, two UK fighters fighting for all this glory, and then uh, you've got a bit of a divide in terms of you know political opinion, I suppose, with how um, they you know, address matters, then is that naturally going to bring out this section of the fans versus this section of the fans? So uh, that's not to dispute that, that Anthony Joshua has a lot of white fans and Tyson Fury has a lot of black fans. So I'm not really putting it down to a black and white thing, but are you seeing it as I'm seeing it, that there is a slight, could this be a cultural thing when these two meet up in the ring? I'm trying to think of the best way to actually put it together, but um, this video is kind of all over the place. But I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on it anyway. Hopefully you've um, got the gist of what I'm saying. And uh, what are your thoughts on the whole video anyway? Now, um, I made a post on my Instagram and my Twitter speaking about it. Like, I'm not afraid to speak about these issues at all. And um, I, I said, look, I'm not going to be naive and think that you know, no white person is singing, saying the N-word along to, to songs and stuff. That happens. I, I know it happens. I just think in this kind of cancel culture, in this kind of society today, you have to be wary about what you're uploading on your socials, man, because that causes offence. The N-word is an offensive term. And if you don't know why it's an offensive term, then I suggest you look it up. You know, just like the Y-word is an offensive term to Jews and the P-word is an offensive term to Pakistanis. The N-word is an offensive word to blacks. Now, other people will say, look, black people say it with each other. I don't like the N-word full stop, and that's just me. Um, so anyone that tries to hit me with that argument, that's just my opinion on it. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts about it anyway in the comment section below. I'm not saying Tyson Fury is a racist. I don't think he is. There's been plenty of times when Tyson Fury has uh, come out and um, spoken up. You know, I mean, I remember one time he uh, was referring to himself as more Nigerian than AJ. He felt that he had more of a um of a say with the people than he did and i know obviously that was kind of like to get at aj but i do believe him when he feels that he is a man of the people so uh let me know your thoughts about it anyway in the comment section below guys i'll be curious to know what you think and i'll catch you all on the next video